wondered why the sound of a race car or an emergency vehicle changes as it drives past you? It's because of something called the Doppler effect. Here, I have one of our pets from the Tells World of Science Edmonton, the Doppler bird. Good birdie. Listen to the change in sound as I swing it around above my head. Did you notice a change in the pitch of the sound as the bird was moving towards you and away from you? This is the Doppler effect. So when the source of a sound is moving towards you, the sound waves get squished together resulting in a higher pitched sound. And as the source of a sound moves away from you, the sound waves get spread out, resulting in a lower pitched sound. So a fire truck siren sounds different as it approaches you, passes you, and drives away from you. So why should you care about the Doppler effect? Peace officers here in Edmonton use Doppler radar to measure your car's speed. All is well as long as you're driving the speed limit. The Doppler effect is also used to measure wind speed and direction. Meteorologists use Doppler radar system for this, so they can predict if a strong wind system is headed your way. Cool, right? I'm a big fan. The Doppler effect also applies to light waves. It helps us study the universe! Astronomers can study the light from a star to determine if it is moving towards or away from Earth. Just like sound waves, when a source of light, like a star, moves towards Earth, the light waves get squished together, resulting in shorter wavelengths. This shifts them towards the blue side of the light spectrum. If the star is moving away from Earth, the light waves get stretched out, resulting in longer wavelengths. This shifts them towards the red side of the light spectrum. So why would a star be moving towards us or away from us? Well, some stars have what astronomers call a wobble. And just like the sun and planets in our solar system, Many other stars in our night sky have planets orbiting around them. We call these exoplanets. A famous set of exoplanets are found in the TRAPPIST-1 system. Astronomers have found seven planets orbiting the TRAPPIST-1 star so far. Exoplanets are small, very far away, and they don't produce any of their own light, which makes them incredibly hard for astronomers to find. Doppler spectroscopy allows us to study the light given off by stars to detect new exoplanets. And in a stellar tug of war, stars exert a large gravitational pull on the planets, causing them to orbit around the star. Much less mighty are the planets, but they do exert a weak gravitational pull on the star, which causes it to wobble in space. Astronomers can observe this wobble by watching the light from a star get compressed or stretched out. That's just one way that astronomers can detect exoplanets orbiting around a star. It's pretty cool how the science behind hearing a passing siren can help astronomers find planets orbiting other stars. What do you want? The Doppler effect! When do you want it? Now!